Hello everyone in Cyber World. Welcome back to another video. I'm Richard. I'm Jennifer and this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. We're introducing this week's video from Otaru, Japan. Using TripAdvisor, uh, we signed up for a uh, leather workshop at a quaint little store called Il Ponte Otaru. I hope I pronounced that right. So let's show you what we did. The first step was deciding what to make. Uh, they had a large variety of options to include pen holders, wallets, keychains, and much, much more. So once we decided what we wanted to make, we had a large variety of materials and colors to choose from. There were different types of leathers to choose from to include different types of cow skin, shark skin, snake skin, and even lizard skin. The selection of colors was also very impressive. Um, the price of the, the uh, workshop itself is all based on what type of leather uh, you're choosing as well as uh, how big the project is. Obviously, the larger the item that you make, the more leather that's going to need and the price goes up from there. I decided to make a coin purse with white and blue leather. And I chose to make a pen case. Now let's get started. The leather was already cut in the pattern of the item that we were going to make. We were then given a template to place on top of the lever and we used it to make marks of where we were going to end up punching out holes. After we marked the leather, we were provided a hole punch and a hammer. You simply place the punch over the marked circle and pound it until a hole is made. So one of us was very dainty about this process while I, on the other hand, insisted on trying to punch out a hole with one or two strikes. And by the way, there is no proof that I actually smashed my fingers more than once. Jennifer's coin purse required a snap to be added onto it. The next step was to add dual-sided tape to hold the pieces together. Although this step is not mandatory, it helps line up the holes and hold them into place when the stitching begins. In my case, I had to use the top piece of leather as a guide to place on top of the bottom and then punch out matching holes. Uh, this makes the stitching line up much better. So back to the hammering I go. So now it's my turn to tape the pieces together, but what a pain. Now that the pieces are held together, we begin stitching them. One side down and now for the other side. The excess strands were cut off, tied, and hidden, and that was all to it. Seriously, look at these, they turned out awesome.
overall, it took about an hour, but it was tremendously fun. I used my coin purse nonstop for the remaining two weeks of the trip. In addition to the leather workshop, they also offered glass blowing experience and also glass sandblasting. Overall, we cannot say enough good things about this. The workers were immediately there if you had a problem or for the next step. I was able to communicate with the store workers in Japanese. However, they were actually helping other customers and they were using English. Even if you don't speak either Japanese or English, I'm sure they'd be able to help you because they are able to do it with gestures or by showing you exactly what you need to do. If you make it up to Sapporo in Japan, Otaru is a short train ride, a must do. To everyone at Il Ponte Otaru, we thank you very much. To everyone, we will see you again next week. Until then, bye-bye. Bye -bye.